According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, more than 60 officers have now died somehow in the line of duty in the year 2015. And nearly 40 percent of those are gun-related. Only on two, two news reporter Beer Shaledme is asking questions about the climate this has created for law enforcement. The death of Trooper Joseph Ponder has been on the mind of Sheriff Phil Plummer. He's been a law enforcement officer for more than 20 years. But this year, he says he's witnessed a major shift on how people view officers, deputies, or even troopers. He hopes to somehow bridge the gap. Sheriff Phil Plummer calls the shooting deaths of officers senseless acts of violence by cowards. We're, we're not the enemy. We're here to help everybody. When you all are on duty now, when you're on patrol and you're in these communities, is there a heightened fear for your life? And is it something you're prepared for when you take that oath? Yeah, people are more, the officers are more vigilant now. And as they patrol communities where we've been threatened, they're even more vigilant. You know. Plummer says he realizes the distrust or dislike of law enforcement is not new. He says underlying issues have fueled this climate. One of the things that we've heard time and time again from certain groups and certain community members is there is a disconnect between law enforcement and community members. And perhaps certain minorities, certain groups aren't respected the same as others when it comes to law enforcement. What do you say to those allegations? And is there a way to work towards changing that belief? Yeah, that, that's very true. There was a, a disconnect there. But I've seen improvement in that. Plummer tells me his staff has increased its community partnerships and committees. The sheriff also recognizes Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal for amping up efforts towards minority recruitment. What is it that you want the community to know about law enforcement officers? I want the community to know these are very good men and women working hard to keep the entire community safe. So continue to support us, you know, invite us to your events. We'll have events, we'll invite you to them. Let's work together and let's um, solve this problem we have. The sheriff says even in this climate, there has been support for law enforcement and also interest in what officers do. Tomorrow, his staff will begin a 12-week Citizens Academy on law enforcement. It's already booked to capacity, and officials say they plan to hold another academy in the near future. Beer Shaladme, 2 News, working for you.